Welcome to Curio Bytes, bite-sized explainer videos. In this video, we'll see what is this antibody dependent enhancement means, ADE, and why it matters for the COVID-19 vaccine. So uh, people are saying that the COVID-19 vaccine leads to this ABD, that is antibody dependent enhancement, ADE. So, you know, uh, these fakers, the fake news uh, propagandists as well as this uh, uh, people who are spreading the conspiracy theory, they have inordinate fancy with this technical sounding jargon. I keep on emphasizing on it, isn't it? Uh, for example, a cytokine storm, you know, or immune system modulator, immunomodulation. So all those things with the commoners hard to understand, then they use this kind of technical jargon like quantum physics, people will take up from the nano nanoparticles, especially for homeo, you know, uh, the people who want to justify the homeo, they, they comes with the quantum physics as well as the nano nanochemistry. Uh, nanometeorology you know so uh, th that is that is actually happening in this case as well so i recently came across this particular you can see it here nobel prize winner mass covid 19 vaccination an unacceptable mistake that is creating variants so basically the vaccine is creating the variant and this is a, a, a whatsapp forward in many of the groups which i'm a member of i can see this kind of thing and it says all vaccinated people will die within two years look at that how profound that statement is how dooming doomsday is approaching it's luke montagnier immediately i know that who is this person luke montagnier i wrote uh, an article about this fellow in uh, wire science uh, again i linked up in the show notes uh, last year it's been a year luke montagnier is one of the uh, you know, of course, he made a very good, uh, he's a Nobel Prize winner, of course, but after post his Nobel Prize winning discovery, he started acting against the science and against everything, uh, you know, what the scientists are saying. Now it has, he has been banned from the most of the prestigious academies in, in, in France, but it's, it's not the point here. It's whoever this Luc Montagnier is. What he says about this uh, vaccinated people will die within two years is complete nonsense, I would like to say. That is what I would like to explain in this video. And also this news has been featured in this uh, life, uh, you know, lifeitenews.com. So that particular news site itself, if you look at here, Columbia and the Journalism Review, it's a it's a journal article. You can see that CJR's index of fake news and clickbait and hate website, and that website is featured in it. So they publish this kind of stories to attach attack uh, you know uh, attract the the uh, the popular uh, you know attraction, and they really need the article to be clicked so that they they can increase their revenue. That is what their strategy. It's a very crude strategy, isn't it? By the way, Luke Montagna, this is the article of the wire which I wrote. So he's, he actually said about the COVID-19 is a, it's a Chinese made, lab made vaccine and his arguments are completely nonsense. So that is what, just check it out. I've also released one uh, video in this line, you know, why Luke Montagna's statement doesn't make, make any sense. So again, I linked up in the show notes, please check it out. So what is this uh, new thing about antibody dependent enhancement? That is again, that's a jargon, but let me explain that. It's actually very simple. So antibody, you know, antibody is a molecule that our body produce when we get, you know, some kind of disease, like a, a common cold, of course, we produce some kind of antibody, right? If you get COVID-19, of course, your plasma has got these antibodies. Our body produce it. So as when you get the vaccine also antibody, produce it and this usually this antibodies protects from future disease for example if you get COVID-19 then you are kind of protected for at least for a few months from getting COVID-19 at least for six to eight months you know or, or if you get the vaccine or so uh, you are protected for around eight months eight to one year you are protected uh, you know of course you need to get vaccine again and again isn't it now what if the antibody makes you more susceptible huh how is it possible? Yeah, it is possible. In sciences, yes, it has been documented in the case of dengue fever, for example, you know. See, in dengue, there are four variants. These are called serotypes, okay? So, dengue virus 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, if you get uh, dengue, uh, you know, infection by dengue virus 1, then uh, your body will produce antibody against this dengue virus 1 variant. Yeah, 
if you get again exposed to dengue virus one variant you are protected at the same time uh, you are not protected from dengue virus two three and four you know so the point here is that if you ever get sick by dengue virus one then you become much more susceptible to other variants than if you are never infected you see so basically the infection with dengue virus one or by any of these variants so basically the antibodies against any of the zero variants will make you more susceptible to other variants look at that that is exactly called antibody dependent enhancement and how does it actually works because our body actually makes this antibodies something called neutralizing and non-neutralizing so non-neutralizing means it cannot protect from other uh, you know pathogens especially virus you know this non-neutralizing antibody when it actually attached to the viral particle or pathogen like bacteria they becomes invisible they can actually attack us more it's something like a doorman on a uh, on a bar or a museum and you know if the doorman wears a cap you know that non-neutralizing antibody uh, the doorman is not really uh, you know not really meticulous in checking the id card all visitors he lets in the museum or a bar so that is exactly what is happening in the case of this antibody dependent enhancement so basically as i told you uh, it's not just inefficient against the three serotypes but it makes future infection with other types worse than you never got infection you see so antibody dependent enhancement means making future diseases deadly that is what enhancement means so it is not in a positive sense it's in a negative sense so you know so it's a euphemism right enhancement here so can COVID-19 vaccine led to antibody dependent enhancement? Simple answer is no. So scientists, of course, the COVID vaccine is not a simple job, right? Many people have been working in many countries, multiple billions of dollars have actually pumped into the vaccine development. So the vaccine uh, companies have actually did a lot of rigorous animal trials, you know, than human trials, fastest animal trial. Then, of course, in human, it's called clinical trial. Uh, there are three phases of the clinical trial, phase one, two, and three. And finally, then, uh, you know, uh, we started doing the public vaccination. Uh, till date, not a single instance of this ADE has been detected for the COVID-19 vaccine. That itself is a proof. It doesn't happen in, in the case of COVID-19 vaccine. So not a single instance of ADE in any of the preclinical animal trials or human clinical trials or vaccine rollouts till date you see that is actually you have to actually think of it and efficiently vaccinated countries like united states or uh, you know uh, uh, this one the israel or new zealand you know all these countries are kind of completely out of covid 19 i mean us is not completely out yet but you see that recently also cdc you know they actually made the mask mandate much more less compliant you see, you can actually uh, uh, go out in public spaces without vaccine if you're completely vaccinated, you know, so in, in US. So that is what the CDC's new regulation. So people who took vaccines might still get COVID-19, but are far less likely to die everywhere, you know, so uh, likelihood of death, that is mortality rate is extremely low. Again, it doesn't mean that it's completely zero. You know, of course, one or two people can die, but that becomes prominent media, you know, the media attention grabber. So like that the doctor in the uh, Delhi got two shots of vaccine and still died. So what? One person can have, have it. So it's all depends on the risk and probability. That is what people, it doesn't come intuitively for the public, you know. So how would the dengue still variants causing ADE? That is actually, think of it, yes, uh, COVID-19 also has got several variants, just like dengue. So vaccine efficacy differs with various SARS-CoV-2 variant. That is correct. So, you know, the, the vaccine that you get, for example, I got Covishield. So Covishield also works better for some of the variant like Kent with the UK variant like B117. Uh, it works for it very nicely, but of a South African variant, it's not that very efficient, but still it works. 
it, it doesn't mean that South African Marian, it does not work at all. Yeah, they made a decision to stop this, uh, uh, you know, AstraZeneca vaccine in the South Africa. But many people now say that it is a hasty decision. They shouldn't have done that decision, you know. So, yeah, so there are several variants of the COVID-19. You see that B1351 is a South African variant. Or here in India, we have double mutant B1617. Point 0.1, point 0.2 and point 0.3 and also in the Brazil variant P.2 P.2 is a Brazil variant and B.1.427, 428 and 429 these are all US Californian variants so of course like dengue we also have this particular not we coronavirus also have got several variants you know yet friends no report of ADE in any of these variants you know so, uh, you know, if this AD happens, so that means that antibody produced in response to natural infection or vaccine leads to increased susceptibility. You know, it's not just vaccine, it's also for uh, natural infection. For example, uh, unfortunately, if you became sick by uh, the Kent variant here in Punjab, the, you know, the Kent variant is very common. And then you become a lot, and I, I, you know, if I became susceptible of, I mean, if I got infected of this Kent variant here in Punjab, and then if I go to my native place Kerala where uh, the double mutant strain is very common, then I become a lot more susceptible to get again the disease. No, it's not the case. Uh, I would be better off. I would be protected for at least six to eight months. So that is what the uh, the data reveals. You know. So yeah, if the vaccines can cause this AD, then natural infections can cause the AD too, you know? So that is what the, the science say. So fortunately, this is not the case. It doesn't work like that. So AD has never been re reported in the case of the SARS-CoV-2, you know? So that is what, so but mind that absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence, right? So science can never say that it's completely risk-free. Uh, no vaccine is 100 percentage in the case of COVID-19, right? Only, uh, you know, the, the church priest will say that if you pray to God, you will not get 100 per or 110 percentage, uh, you will not get. But in science, no. That, that's not how the science works. Nothing is risk-free. Even if you try to have a baby, uh, you know, the, the risk of having a baby with high birth, I mean, uh, having some birth defect is very high than... Uh, you know the the failure rates of the vaccine you see so if you haven't watched please have a look at the uh, you know the the new uh, things uh, new uh, you know the uh, video which i recently uploaded to my channel about efficacy of the the vaccine how to calculate this efficacy so by the way uh, this particular uh, you know this this show this brief explain the bites curio bites i i got it from uh, this article again i put up in the show notes in the pipeline article antibody dependent enhancement and coronavirus vaccines published in scientific american have a look at that so it's basically uh, a science translation medicine not scientific American. it's a science translational medicine okay uh, 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 it's triple a science and how about the vaccine causing virus shedding again that's a big fake news it's everywhere spreading so it says that if you ever get vaccinated then it's like a symptomatic carrier you kept on releasing the viral particles so the other becomes susceptible no it doesn't work that way because uh, you know the covid shield vaccine for example is not uh, an attenuated live attenuated vaccine you know it is basically uh, uh, you know it's a recombinant adenovector uh, vaccine it's a genetically engineered vaccine of the chimpanzee adenovirus you know so the body is not actually making any viral particle and it's incorrect to say that people who got in fact uh, you know who got this vaccine uh, will be keep on releasing the viral particles no it's not it's completely fake news even uh, for the vaccines like uh, uh, covaxin which is a very old technology you know so it's basically completely kill the viral particles and that is exactly so you take the uh, the coronavirus particle you kill it and then you administer the killed one again it's not alive un unlike polio uh, viral vaccine so polio vaccine is basically oral polio vaccine is a live vaccine you know so even you know you, if you say that those kind of polio vaccine can lead to viral shedding maybe that might be true because it's alive 
uh, but in the case of corona viral vaccine not a single vaccine is live attenuated you know so viral shedding is complete fake news that uh, you know the reuters have released it anyway so please check it out i have linked up again in the show notes of this video so you know so basically this is you know this is what i would like to say that don't trust this uh, fake news sites and instead please trust only science you know so uh, yeah f- uh, you, uh, just be vigilant about all these matters friends you know and uh, and do watch many of the related contents that i feature in in my channel so uh, including the vaccine efficacy and the risks the new you know new uh, content new video and also how not to get covid-19 what the evidence based science say how not to get covid-19 and in case you get covid-19 how to manage it what the evidence based science say on how to manage covid-19 efficiently and as well as a curiosity curious is a monthly science show uh, which is featured in my channel in case you haven't subscribed please click the subscribe icon below and uh, do uh, come back to my channel and check it out many of these interesting contents i feature i actually spend a lot of time researching on these things you know and i hope you enjoyed this uh, curio bites the bite sized explainer video and please do take care and if you can please take care of someone else too goodbye